Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Just give you a real quick look at our ingredients here, because this recipe is going to rock. Now we'll start out with our onion, red onion that is. I like to use a red onion because it's sweeter. You can use whatever onion you'd like, but trust me, go with the red onion. It'll work out a lot better for you. And we're not going to use the whole thing. We're just going to do tiny little slices here and use about a quarter of this onion. Nice, nice small pieces. And just add them to your bowl. Now the tomatoes, I'm using Roma tomatoes of course. I've got to use an Italian tomato. And we're going to cut these up small too. Not quite as fine as the onions, but you definitely want some smaller pieces. You don't want these huge chunks throughout it, but you also don't want it as fine and as pureed as a salsa. We're not making salsa. We're making bruschetta. So you can see here on the side profile, a little better footage here for you. Cutting right through nice pieces. really all there is to it. Once you get all your tomatoes sliced up here, as you can see we're just using two of them, we'll just add that here to the bowl. And pay attention here because we've got twice the amount of tomato that we do have with onion. Okay, it's about a half ratio of onion to tomato. And we've got some fresh basil. Now this is important. Always use fresh basil. Don't use the dried crap. Roll it up here in a little ball, a little trick for you, and slice right through it. Turn it on its side, go the opposite direction. That'll get it out fine, perfect for the mixture. Throw that in there. Now take a look at this garlic clove. It's pretty big, so I'm only going to use one. It's about the size of my thumb. I want to chop this up all fine too. Nice little pieces so it can spread out through the entire recipe. And just like the basil, just work it back and forth till you get it small enough. But I'm sure you know how to cut garlic. We'll just add that to the mix too. Some scallions, some dried Italian seasonings, salt and pepper, olive oil. Now we'll just get this stirred up real good. That's pretty much all there is to it for the bruschetta, but you gotta have something to put it on. So here I've got this Italian loaf that I picked up for about a dollar. You can use a French baguette if you'd like, but this is my favorite. And I just throw down a bunch of slices on a wire rack, and then I just throw this in the oven. Here we have it, nice toasted Italian slices. We've got our bruschetta. And a nice smothered piece. And there you have it. Tomato and basil bruschetta right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.